and we're going to be discussing gravity and I the objective of this is to explain what gravity is using the terms gravity mass and force and the terms I would like you to be able to use by the end of this lesson is gravity mass and force so and uh, at the outset of this lesson write those down as the objective and the terms that you need to be able to define and at the end of the video check for yourself if you can do this if you can't then you need to rewatch this video or come and ask me some questions okay fantastic let's get going first off we need to talk about the term mass okay mass is a property that tells us how much stuff there is in a substance um let's first talk about this word property so that's just a characteristic it describes um objects that describe stuff um we all have properties uh just think of it as a personality it's something the way you would describe something okay so mass is a property that tells us how much stuff there is in a substance so how much stuff there is actually crammed inside a substance some some stuff has, has some uh, matter has more stuff um, in it and then therefore it has more mass so let's look at another way mass measures the amount of atoms in a substance okay so here we've got this guy looking at atoms on the bottom here okay uh, mass just tells us how many atoms there are not a number of atoms is when we counted them, but it gives us a measurement in kilograms. It says, okay, this thing over here, it is two kilograms. It means it has a mass of two kilograms, which means there's two kilograms worth of atoms in there, okay? It's not how much space it takes up. Think about a kilogram of feathers, which would be quite big to get a kilogram of feathers, and a kilogram of steel would be quite small, okay? Both of them have um, atoms in them. Some of them just have more of it crammed into one space, more mass crammed into one space. So if you just think of mass measured in kilograms, it tells us how much substance there is, okay? Everything that can be measured in kilograms has mass. All right. So if you're still confused about uh, mass, just think about kilograms. If you can measure something in kilograms, it has mass. So you, I'm assuming you at some point in your life have take, uh, taken your own weight, weighed how much you are. That's because you have mass. You're checking the mass. Has your mass changed? Have you got more atoms in you and therefore you're starting to bulk up? Or have you lost a whole lot of atoms and therefore you have less mass and you're smaller? All right. Um, a common misconception is that gases don't have weight or gases don't have mass. Weight and mass are different. Um, they do. We can actually weigh gases. They're just so light that we need a large amount of them to have a large enough mass to be noticeable. All right. Fantastic. So that's mass. Let's talk about force. Now, force is probably the easier ones that we're going to deal with. Force is a push or pull that acts on an object by another object. So here we've got an example of a boy pushing. Both boys are pushing on this object. So this green ball over there in the middle is experiencing a force from this boy pushing in that direction and a force from this boy pushing in that direction. So it's a pushing and it's being created on the object. So this object is experiencing force, which is being created by this boy and being created by this boy. Over here, we have the door and this is experiencing a pushing um, force by this guy. So this object, this human is creating a force on this object, the door by pushing. Here's another example, and it's the opposite, but it's still a force. This human is creating a force on the door, and the door is experiencing a pulling force created by him. So a force is a push or a pull that acts on an object by another object. All right. So now that we've got mass and force down, okay, remember mass is how much substance there is, and we measure it in kilograms, and force is a pushing or pulling. Now we can deal with gravity. So first things first. Gravity is a force that is created by mass. Okay, so gravity is a pushing or pulling that is created by mass. Okay, and it's it's always, it's, you, no, it is always a pulling. So gravity is a force that pulls and it is created by mass. Okay, let's go into a little more detail. Every little atom, now every atom create, produces a small amount of gravity. That's because if we go back to mass, every atom has mass, okay? So every atom creates a very minuscule amount of gravity. So every atom is actually pulling other things closer to it because it has gravity, but it's very small. If we have more atoms, uh, more atoms something has, the more force it has. So if we can get more atoms together, all those little bits of gravity sort of build up and we have this huge pull of gravity, okay? As the mass of an object increases, as they become, as there's more and more kilograms in something, the more gravity it creates, the more pulling force it creates towards it, okay? Um, we have mass. 
We can create small amounts of gravity, but we don't notice the force because it is so weak and the Earth's gravity is so strong, it overcomes our small gravity. So think about it this way. You and I are both made of uh, matter. We're both made of atoms and we actually have a force of gravity. So I'm heavier than most of you watching this video. That means I have more gravity pulling things towards me than you guys do. But both of us, our, gravity's, our gravity is so small that we don't notice the fact that we are being pulled towards each other by our own gravity because the Earth's gravity is so much stronger, okay? All right. So here, I just want you to see this picture here. There's three things in this picture. There's the moon, there's the Earth, and there's an astronaut. All three of those things are made of atoms. So all three of those things are creating gravity, all right? Right now, the, Earth, the moon is creating a gravity, the Earth is creating a gravity, and that astronaut is creating a gravity. Okay, they're all pulling things towards them. Now, this astronaut isn't that big. He doesn't have that much mass in him or her. So his pull isn't really, nobody really feels it. Nothing on Earth feels pulled towards that astronaut because that astronaut is so light. He doesn't have a lot of mass. He does, and then the moon itself is so far away and it's so much smaller than the Earth that the astronaut does not feel that mass. It uh, doesn't feel the gravity from the moon. The only gravity that astronaut's going to feel is the Earth. And if we left that astronaut and he stopped orbiting, he would actually slowly start plummeting towards the Earth and he'd get faster and faster because of the huge amount of mass of the Earth. All right. So take a look at the objectives again. If you can't answer the objective and you can't tell me what the three terms are at the beginning of this lesson, then come talk to me. Fantastic. Have a great day.